Okay, welcome. I um, I'm splicing this in before the actual video because I was just talking, 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 and I forgot that I wanted to show this to everyone because I am essentially proud of it. I got a visa. I finally got a visa, albeit it's a cash app. It's not really a credit card, but I got it custom made. So I just wanted to show it to everybody. I, I dedicated it to the princess. Okay. Alrighty, that's all. Uh, as always, the, the, the link is down in the description. If you are maybe part of the 20%, I believe, that might have gone down since our hyperinflation that is comfortable enough or affluent enough to provide charity. You feel charitable towards me, a stranger on the internet. So please donate. I really would appreciate it. But if not, just watching and liking, subscribing, just as good. Enjoy the video. Hello everyone, hello internet. Oh, thank you for joining me on this beautiful Friday afternoon. Today's Friday, the 17th of March, 2023. 81 Fahrenheit, 27 Celsius here in beautiful Pembroke Pines. Um, the time is 1538 hours and the queen and the princess just left. They went to go visit the queen's mom, which I am very happy. Um, they haven't seen her in a while, so I sincerely hope that every moment, every breath they spend together, they make the best and the most of it. I know that every morning when mom and dad wake up here at home, I'm very, very grateful that they're alive and they're younger than the queen's mom. Uh, my dad effectively is approximately five years and nine months younger, five years and 10 months, four years so and nine months. I'm sorry. She's older and they don't get to see her that much. So I'm very happy that they get having this chance, this opportunity, and, um, I hope they make the best of it and, you know, they get along well and enjoy each, other, each other's companies. And I know the princess talks to grandma all the time over the phone. And she's already confessed to me that grandma to her is number one, which I can't blame her. When I was young, grandma was number one also. So I always say that's what effed me up so bad, you know, throughout my childhood, which eventually leads you to having an effed up adult, adulthood. You know, the separation anxiety. I was seven years old when I was taken from my grandmother, who was my, num my number one. And effectively, it changed the route of my life. Um, not just that, but also culture shock. I had to go from being in a country where different language, uh, different levels of education, different um, culture, essentially, to come to a completely different country where I had to redo a grade. I was, the level of education from where I came from was so advanced. Speaking of which, this shirt was made in Colombia. This is what you call a guayabera. In case you don't know, these are the shirts that have the pockets right here. They're very popular in Cuba. And um, this particular one is a Pat Primo brand, which is made in Colombia. So, just wanted to flaunt that. Is that it? Post? Whatever. Anyway, so yeah, when I came here, the education level was different. One time I turned the paper, and over there, by the time I had finished first and second grade, I think it was, or no, first grade. I had to redo first grade here, I think it was. I had already learned how to write in cursive, how to multiply, how to divide, obviously add and, and, and subtract if you know how to multiply and divide. So when I came here, I turned in the paper one day and I just wrote in cursive, which is what I was accustomed to. And the teacher, this was in elementary, Sheridan Lakes Elementary in Hollywood, Florida. Hollywood is just west of here in Pembroke Pines. Sorry, Beautiful east. Beautiful city as well. 
a little bit higher crime rate, but what can you do? Anytime you live near the railroad tracks, but they also do have a lot of properties with uh, high property values because they're by Hollywood Beach. Anyways, I turned in the paper, I wrote it, it was written in cursive, you know, I wrote my name in cursive, whatever, and she looked at it, she looked at me, and she said, this, you can't turn this in. This is not, we haven't talked cursive yet. Redo this in, um, in red, you know, not, not in non-cursive and, re, and, 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 and then give it back. She wouldn't accept my paper because it was in cursive. I'm sorry, you know? I eventually learned English. It took a little while to adapt, but one of the major factors was that in growing up, was that mom and dad had to work hard, had to work a lot in order to provide. Because there was the three of us, me and my two siblings. So therefore, we spent a lot of time, not in the beginning, because in the beginning, my paternal grandma would care for us. But after a little while, we got a little bit older. We would spend a lot of time at home while whilst mom and dad were both still working. So. Instead of having the supervision, which I had when I was in Colombia, which was from my grandma and my aunt, whom I love, Tia Maritza, te quiero mucho. Um, I grew up essentially learning from television. Um, I had some friends eventually, you know, when I got into like middle school and whatnot. And essentially when you don't have, you know, parents work hard to give the most that they can to their children, to provide the most with what they can. But some things like time, you know, spending time with somebody, those things are things that money can't buy. And essentially those sort of things are priceless. Now I'm not saying that they messed up. They've done the best job that they could have given the circumstances that they've had. My sisters, good willing, they're at peace with each other. At least from my point of view, they seem to be doing well, you know, they're, they both have, you know, I would say, you know, through their hard work, achieved good levels of prosperity, they achieved, you know, they're not living at home with their parents, like I am, and um, both of them were blessed enough to each have at least two children, which nowadays that's almost rare i have one essentially two if you, if you count my stepdaughter which that's another thing that i wanted to say i'm probably going to add a video on patreon i'm not going to say too many details about it but i will say that it will be in regards to encrypted communication let's just say that if that makes any sense because it kind of reminds me of like world war ii when they used to have like the code breakers and that one code breaker who got eventually executed because he was homosexual and in, in uh, england i think the uk that was terrible i think turing was his name anyways so yeah that's about it i'm going to take the picture for the, the level one uh patreons of the uh, my beautiful babies out front. I made a video yesterday where I put both waterings together. Um, today, I um, I don't know if I'm gonna make any other videos, but I just wanted to just make one, just to shoot one. Also because of the fact that uh, my queen and the princess are not gonna, are not here, so I wanna at least be able to upload so that they can see me on a daily basis in case they want to. I doubt they'll miss me much. I hope and I'm sure they're gonna have a blast, time of their lives, etc. So, but just in case, here I am in, um, in the one uh, social media app that I use because I was uh, recommended it to do so by my sister who doesn't even remember telling me to do so, but okay. Um, I, about the shirt, yes, the shirt was made in Colombia, but it wasn't even the shirt I originally wanted to wear. I wanted to wear 
I have um, from the kit from 2009, I believe, the Barcelona jersey. And it was commemorating Camp Nou, Camp, Camp Nou, however you pronounce it. I think it was like it's, I forget how many years they had, they, they had been playing in that stadium. And it was commemorating that stadium and I love that jersey. Um, instead of having the Qatar on it, it has UNICEF which obviously UNICEF is supposed to be a better, you know, organization than a state which just happens to be rich in oil and natural gas and therefore they can just make a team with the greatest and, and the best of all time. But they're, in my opinion, the best team that I've seen, I only started watching soccer approximately maybe like 10 years ago, was when uh, uh, Luis Enrique Martinez was the coach. And I will never forget, they had the three best forwards, which were Neymar, Messi, and Suarez. They had the three best midfielders, or actually four, but one was like a left wing. They had um, uh, Iniesta, which IMO should have won the Balloon d'Or in 2011. They had Xavi, they had um, Dani Alves, who unfortunately is right now is involved in some um, drama in Spain in regards to some accusations. He allegedly did something in the nightclub. I don't even want to get into it. And they had, um, what's his name? He still plays Jordi Alba. He's really good. Oh my goodness, what's his name? Um... Oh, I forget. I apologize. Do you, do you guys think he played with the number six? If I remember right, or the number four? No. Number eighteen. Before was PK. So, uh, yeah. And they had Busquets. Anyways, nonetheless, that team they won the treble. Uh, at least once. I forget if it was twice in a row or three times in a row. Um. Uh, there's only been like four European teams to have won the treble. I think AC Milan is one of them. Uh, maybe another Italian one, and I think an English one. I forget, but not many teams have won the treble. Yes, Real Madrid has won the uh, European League or the UEFA Champions League, as it's called now. Uh, the most of out of any teams, they won it approximately like 12, 13 times. They're probably going to be the favorites this year as well, but whatever it is what it is so thanks for watching everybody i hope you have a blessed friday afternoon friday evening please be safe out there please be kind to one another thank you so much for watching and uh all the good stuff i'll put it at the end i don't even want to say it because it's boring having to repeat it but it's true if you subscribe you like you comment the almighty algorithm will acknowledge that your channel has some relevant rele relevancy thus it shows it to people who might just open up and look at the home feed but if none of that happens then i'll just stay in the dark spot of youtube but that's okay too because essentially this is a, just a vlog and maybe it helps me just to get my feelings out there i did delete a couple of videos today because and the word does say honor thy mother and honor thy father so i felt those two videos may have been slightly inappropriate although um i also was expressing my feelings at the same time i wasn't trying to be uh rude or being or be um you know whatever anyways thank you be blessed and uh yeah, bye.